We are on a mission this evening, folks. We've got big, big news happening here in Florida. Major news. Something is opening over here on the southeast coast that has never, ever, ever been here before. Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back. I am Chris the Girl and Dutch Brothers has officially made its way to Florida. If you don't know what Dutch Brothers is, don't even worry about it. I'm going to explain it to you. Essentially, it is a coffee shop. They sell coffee here. And I think smoothies and like teas and stuff like that. Various drinks of that nature. Why is this a big deal? Why is this a big deal? Well, this is the very, very first Dutch Brothers here in Florida. This is more of a West Coast thing. They're all over the place in California, in Oregon, in Arizona. Um, all of my time living in Oregon and Arizona, there were Dutch Brothers all over the place. I've had coffee there many times before. So the fact that there is now one here in Florida is pretty dang cool. Now, this Dutch Brothers is in Davenport, Florida, but they are also opening up two other locations in the Central Florida-ish area. So keep an eye out for that. If this one isn't super close to you, there might be one of the other locations that could be a little bit closer. So Dutch Brothers has officially made it to Florida. That is so cool. We actually passed by this location um, maybe about a month ago or so. And I like, I freaked out. I was like yelling at, at, at Tampa J, my fiance. Oh my gosh, there's a Dutch Brothers here in Florida. What? This is such a big deal. To me, it's a big deal. And to all of you out there who know what Dutch Brothers is, it might be a big deal to you as well. Um, now to be 110% honest, I'm not the biggest Dutch Brothers fan. Uh, if I had to pick a coffee place to go to, it's going to be Starbucks now, to be quite honest with you. But it's been a while, okay? It's been a while since we've been to Dutch Brothers. I'm excited to give it another chance here, especially now that it's here in Florida, of course. Um, and yeah, so we're here. I'm going to show you the location, show you what's going on here. I have no idea if today is the grand opening day or not. It might not be, honestly. But uh, if it's not today, then it was just yesterday or a couple days ago. Because I've been keeping an eye on this thing. But nonetheless, very first Dutch Brothers in Florida. I can't say that enough. This is exciting. We're going to go check it out. I'm going to show you what's going on behind me here. And yeah, get a coffee. So thanks all for clicking on the video. I sure hope you enjoy it. Let's go. Here it is, Dutch Brothers. So I parked inside of their parking lot, which you are welcome to do and order up at the window there, or you can go through the drive-thru. And they've got two lanes at this drive-thru, which is pretty darn impressive. They have obviously anticipated for the crowds, and it looks like I'm not the only one who is really, really excited about this. There is a uh, there's quite a lot of people here waiting to waiting to get their coffee. They got some signage here on the side of the road. This is 27. Ironically, I suppose enough, this Dutch Brothers is literally right down the street from where I used to live over in Claremont. And here's a view from it from this side. Dutch Brothers coffee now open. Holy moly, I feel like I'm feel like I'm back out west. And here's a look at the big old sign that they have here. It's a coffee. It's got the windmill on it. Dutch Brothers Coffee. So cool. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of cars waiting in the drive-thru and it's not even coffee time, by the way. It's evening. <laughs> it's evening time. We got here late and there's still people in line to get their coffee. It's kind of funny to me that they are like blasting music here as well by the by the window. It very much fits with what I recall of Dutch Brothers. What I what I think of when I think of Dutch Brothers is I think of the most happiest, enthusiastic, like college high school kids ever working at Dutch Brothers and like being so overly happy to take your order and just super chatty like, "Hey, how's it going? How's your day?" Like the nicest people ever working at Dutch Brothers truly like the enthusiasm is real so we'll have to see if that is that is the case here in Florida if it's bled over here in Florida too by the way it's freaking freezing out 
Oh boy, it's cold. And just to look from this angle over here, they've got plenty of people walking around with tablets taking people's order, which is again akin to what I recall from Dutch Brothers in the past. They don't have like a, uh, they don't have like a, one of those speaker things where you talk into the sign to somebody inside. They're, they're actually walking out and about around here with their tablets, taking people's orders, sticking their faces in the car. Well, they're probably not sticking their faces in the car anymore, COVID and all, but uh, that's, that's how they take your order here. Looks like they do have plenty of menus on their drive through though, so you got plenty of time. Ooh, they turned the lights on. You got plenty of time to decide what you want. Oh, it was so nice today. It's so sunny and warm and now it's freezing. Anyway, we're walking back up because they turned the lights on and we gotta, now we gotta see it with the lights on. In this case, it's kind of cool that we got here so late because we can see the coffee cup all lit up in neon. How, how neat is that? They even have special traffic cones here. Dutch Brothers specific traffic cones. How cute is that? And a trailer too, a Dutch Brothers trailer that they are unloading a bunch of stuff into or out of and into their storefront. Okay, let's go take a look at the menu and get a drink. Gonna do our best with the, with the music here, but uh, here's a look at their menu. So they've got coffee here, obviously. Golden Eagle vanilla and caramel with caramel drizzle. Oh my gosh. An Irish cream a caramel mocha, a chocolate macadamia nut, cocoa, coconut mocha, they've got latte, ooh, they've got an oat milk latte, nice. There is a nitro cold brew, black coffee, mocha, and probably tons and tons of options for like flavors too. Also they have energy drinks, Re Dutch Brothers Rebel Energy Drinks. And they got a bunch of different kinds on here. Electric berry, stra peach, strawberry, watermelon, all kinds of energy drinks, lemonades and teas, iced tea, green tea, black tea, sparkling soda. You can add some special flavors in there too. Passion fruit, peach, and shakes too. Cotton candy shake, a ninja drink, which says creme de menthe, White chocolate. Wow, that sounds that sounds really fancy. They have a chocolate one too. Frosty chocolate milkshakes. Also smoothies. A strawberry smoothie, a green apple smoothie, a mango smoothie. And looks like they have muffin tops too. Okay, so I think that's the only kind of food that they have apparently are muffin tops, chocolate chip, lemon poppy seed, orange cranberry, and also a granola bar. Apparently they also have protein coffee. 20 grams of protein salted caramel protein latte and a salted caramel protein mocha man that music is loud it is like it is party bumping bumping party up in here at the dutch brothers looking at the menu here a little bit uh, a little bit more you could also make it a blended freeze which i think means um they put it in a blender and it kind of has more of like a shake sort of uh, consistency to it also, it looks like they have a lot of milk alternatives. Oat milk, almond milk, or coconut, which is really good too. All right, I just ordered my drink. It is coming up here soon. But I got this little card here because if you get the app, apparently, you get a free medium drink, which is pretty cool. So I'm definitely gonna have to do that because I'll probably be coming back here a decent amount. And Ta-da, here it is. So they talked me into the Golden Eagle, which is the vanilla and caramel with a caramel drizzle. I got it with oat milk, of course. I'm very excited to uh, to give it a shot. My first Dutch Brothers in, in quite some time. By the way, their opening day was yesterday, Friday, February the 23rd, 2024 really wanted to be here on their opening day and it's so funny because all day yesterday i was thinking i gotta check back on dutch brothers gotta check back on dutch brothers are they open yet and i never freaking did like a scrub but that's okay we're here on the second opening day the most important thing is that this is the very first one that's opened here in florida and they're coming so that's all that matters i kind of <laughs> 
I kind of like how spooky this lighting is right now. Um, sorry. To be honest, this is the third video that I'm filming today. I was not planning on this, which was really seriously poor planning on my part. Uh, but here we are. We're, we're, we're doing it anyway. It's late at night, and I'm trying very hard to uh, film this. Anyway, <laughs> let's give the drink a try. Again, this is the Golden Eagle, and uh, yeah, let's try it. That's coffee, all right. No, it's it's really good. This is serious. This is very good. Yeah, actually, that's surprisingly good. One of the reasons that I wasn't the hugest fan of Dutch Brothers out west when I lived out west is because I found their drinks to be incredibly sweet. I'm not much of a sweet drink person. Um, it's not really my thing, especially when it comes to coffee. So it was, I, I don't know, I've, I've had a few of them. They were super, super sweet. And I was like, eh, maybe this isn't just, maybe this just isn't for me, but this actually is not that sweet. It, uh, I can definitely taste, I can definitely taste the coffee in there. And again, that's very surprising because there's two sweet things in here. They kind of talked me into it a little bit. Um, there's vanilla and there's caramel. It could just be because I'm using oat milk that it's not as sweet. Um, back in that, back at that time, I was still doing cream. I wasn't really doing too much of the alternative milks. So that could be why this isn't as sweet as I'm recalling it to be. But this is super good. I would 110% get this again. And I'm very, very much excited um, and looking forward to trying the other drinks that they have. I don't think I'll ever be trying their energy drinks. I don't do energy drinks anymore. Um, but certainly their lemonades, their teas, and of course there are other various coffees as well. So yeah, this is a winner. I'm excited. Dutch Brothers is here in Florida. So here is a look-see at their other locations. You can see where we are right now down at the bottom there. This is also very close to Disney, which is pretty cool. And then they have two other ones on the other side of Orlando. So this Dutch Brothers is going to be in Claremont, U.S. Highway 27. It is closed. It's not open yet. And that's, that's this one here. So it's actually down the road from this one. It's on the, it's on the exact same road, just further, way further north. And then this one over here, ironically enough, we were just in that area today, earlier today. So it's almost a little bit of a shame that this one wasn't open. We could have got there earlier. But this one is in Winter Park. Yeah, wow, that is, uh, that's exactly where we were today. So that figures. But yeah, so those two will be opening at some point. I have no idea when, of course. So just keep your eyes open. And with that, let's head out of Dutch Brothers now. We're gonna head on home, and Tampa J should be home around the same time that I am, and uh, we're gonna have him try the coffee, see what he thinks, and then we'll go ahead and uh, we'll wrap this up. So see you later, Dutch Brothers. I'm so glad you're here in Florida. And I do believe it's a full moon out tonight. That sure explains a lot for how freaking crazy this day has been. Watch out, Starbucks. There's a new coffee shop in town. Okay, we made it back home. Dutch Brothers is now in Florida. It sure is. It looked cool. Yeah, you've never been there before, right? I have, one time. Okay, you, you got coffee in there once? Austin, Texas. Okay. I think specifically Round Rock, Round Rock Texas. I was, it was in front of a filming location for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I was gotcha. like, oh, I'll grab a coffee. Okay. What did you think at that point? Do you remember? I think it was good. I think it reminded me of like Duncan or something. Uh huh. I, I honestly don't remember. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Well, Tampa J is going to take a sip my of set. my coffee and he's going to let us know what he thinks. It's a cold brew with vanilla and caramel and oat milk. Mm, that's good. I really like it. I love that they have the windmill. I know. It's, it's really cool branding. 
The storefront is really neat too. The the big sign out front and whatnot. I've never been inside. I just went through the drive through. Yeah, there's no inside. It's only uh, drive it's only a drive through or go up to the window and order. I like it. Which is what I did. So for some reason, I thought they had donuts. Uh, yeah, I, I wish. just assumed Dutch Dutch Brothers Donuts has like a nice ring to it. Yeah, something to think about, Dutch Brothers. All right, that is going to do it for today's video the third video that i did today and um i guess weirdly enough the first one that you all are going to see tomorrow on uh on sunday but um had to do this dutch brothers so excited about this like i said at the beginning it's not that i am dutch brothers like number one fan or anything like that it's I, I'm not sponsored by Dutch Brothers. It's, it's not like that at all. It's just simply me being excited about a company, a coffee shop that is more known out west coming over here to the east coast, here to Florida. I feel like a part of me is here in Florida now. And um, I don't know, that's just, that's really, really exciting to me. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you out there too might be huge fans of Dutch Brothers. Um, it seems like they have a pretty good, pretty good following out there. So here we go. It's here in Florida. If you if you drive past them, give them a try, see what you think, and hopefully you like it. I very much have been enjoying um, this coffee. So welcome, Dutch Brothers. Welcome Dutch brothers to Florida. We're happy to have you, or at least this Floridian slash Arizonian slash or Oregon Oregonian. What's what are Oregon people called? I don't know. I didn't live there long Wyoming. enough, I guess, but um was there Dutch brothers in Wyoming though? I'm not know. sure that there are. Wyoming doesn't have a lot of stuff at all. Uh, anyway, the point is is that the West has made its way over here to the East Coast, and I, for one, welcome our new coffee overlords, Dutch Brothers. So thank you all so much for watching. This is going to be probably a short one, a nice, quick, and sweet, and delicious one. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Um, I had a good time making it. This was a lot of fun. Very excited about Dutch Brothers, as I've continually said throughout this video. Holy moly! We have a lot more adventures coming up here, as I always say, but this time I mean it. We're, I'm gonna be putting out video after video after video after video the next couple of weeks. Uh, we're busy, we're very, very busy. Um, so yeah, get excited for that, get ready. If you aren't subscribed to the channel and you wanna see more, why not do so? There's a button down below that says subscribe. I haven't said that, man, I haven't said that in a really long time, but this is a whole entire channel. We do a lot of different things here. Um, so if you wanna see more of it, click subscribe down below. That sure would mean a lot to me. It's a free service, why not? And also, if you want and you wanna make sure you don't miss out on all of the videos that I'm gonna be doing in the next couple weeks here, why not hit the notification bell as well? Now that's one that I never talk about, but there is a notification bell. So anytime I put out a video, it will let you know on your phone. Yippee, more notifications on your phone. Nothing is better than that. Um, anyway, thanks again for watching. We'll see you all very soon. I think that's it, okay. Well, bye everybody. I need to eat some food. I've literally only had caffeine in my system today. No food, except for one banana. And that was, I don't know, 12 hours ago. So we got to fix that. You're saying you went Dutch? I think so. Is that what that means? <laughs> no. Is that, does going Dutch mean that you uh, only had a banana to no, eat I... today? No, I know what that means. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't. Thanks for the coffee. Wow. You were in Ray's getup. Do you want to tell him why? Oh, yes. Stretching I went to the, the first spring training game of the season as far as Tampa Bay Rays was the Braves in Port Charlotte with Adam the Woo. We were down there enjoying the game today. It was and a the beautiful, beautiful day. Weather. Yeah, beautiful weather, yeah. They lost, day. but it was fun. Good. That's what I was doing. That's all that matters. So I look forward to watching that video later. I'm sure the, the baseball buddies are back. Baseball season's back. How exciting is that? 
Can't wait for the first game. I think it's going to be a good one. Good year. I feel. I don't want to. So. I don't want to hype it up like last year, but um, yeah, it's going to be a good one. Good. Good. Make back, sure you check out Tampa Jay's channel. If you haven't already, there's always a link down in the description below. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye, everybody, for real. See you later. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Dutch Brothers. Thanks, Dutch Brothers, for the coffee. And that's it. They are not sponsoring this video. That's what the word is. You're welcome. Okay, bye-bye. See you later. Sure did forget something. One more thing. It's, I talked about this earlier, and then I kept forgetting to bring it up. They are just as happy and peppy as ever. Like, all of the, all of the people working at Dutch Brothers, everybody seemed super nice, super excited to be there. Everyone was, like, inside of that tiny little, little hut in there, like, singing along to the blaring music and just having the best dang time ever. They were chatting with customers out in the drive through line and giggling and laughing and seriously, they just, I don't know what Dutch Brothers is doing to their employees, but they seriously are having the best freaking time in there. I, I don't know what it is. I've never been to a Dutch Brothers where everyone was like unhappy. <laughs> Everyone's having a really freaking good time. So I, maybe it's because they're pumping them full of coffee and energy drinks. I don't know, Wait, but so uh, it's uh, everyone's having a great time. So every uh, the people that I interacted with were absolutely lovely. Well done, Dutch Brothers. I don't know, you're doing something right. So anyway, had to throw that in there. That was very, very important. Okay, we'll see you later. Bye-bye, everybody. This time for real. Bye.